These eggs are from the four fish that I caught a few days ago, the eighth and then the ninth. Uh, I believe the video on the eighth has already been uh, uploaded. Uh, the video of the ninth has not been uploaded yet. I haven't worked on it yet. That's the day I caught the three hens and the one jack. Uh, but I've got the eggs here. And so let's start off with what to do and what I do. Okay, so the one thing you have to remember, and I'll, I'll repeat this over and over and over again in all my videos, is I'm not going to tell you what you should do. I'm going to show you what I do and give you the reasons why I do it. Okay, so let's start off with some good fresh eggs. And the one thing that we want to make sure that we do is to fillet them open. Okay, now as you can see, they're all the same as far as the way they're, the shape that they're built. And what I like to do, some people will just cut them halfway open. I like to fillet them all the way open, butterfly them completely open. And the way I do that is I start on this end and I first make the cut down the center with the scissors. And you can feel what happens, you can feel what happens on your hands as you run the, and I don't just do it down the center, I do it down the sides too. And as you can see, it starts to open up and you can see I still need to get down in this area here. This is where you have to be careful because if you go too deep, you'll go right through and go through the skein. Now that they have all been butterflied, we're ready to, you know, put the, the cure to them. And like I've mentioned before, uh, I cure my eggs all the same way. I have used all kinds of different products. Um, and as you can see, I, I have a lot of different products. And this has actually been whittled down, you know, from the rest of the stuff that I don't use anymore. But what I have learned is that if I use a bunch of different eggs, uh, cured a different way, uh, it's almost impossible to tell the reason why those particular eggs worked. You know, was it the presentation? Was it the egg cure? Was it uh, the water? Was it the fish just wanted to eat that at the at the at, at that time, you know, it's, it's almost impossible to know. And so what I've done over the years is I've dwindled everything down to one thing that I do that I know works and it works almost in all conditions. And what I do is I use this stuff right here now, this Procure. Red Hot Double Stuff. This is the stuff that I like to use and I use it for everything. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle this, oh, well, actually, no, okay, stop the presses. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to put on some gloves. And I am going to have to flip these around and do all kinds of gymnastics with them. Okay, let's get some gloves on both hands. Come on, hand, get in there. Oh, damn. Man, that's something. I would have never been a doctor. Okay. I could have never been a doctor. I didn't have patience. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, so let's get this stuff on there. And I've got a couple other. One other thing, actually, that I like to do. Now I just sprinkle this on very liberally. It is one of the things I do liberally. <coughs> oh, boy, that's some good stuff. I almost want to wear a mask. Oh, here we go. Now at this point, <coughs> wow, <coughs> Woo. 
you don't want to breed that stuff. Okay, so at this point, this is what I do uh, that I think makes my eggs work for mostly all situations. Right there. And right there. Krill powder and sodium sulfide. Come on, oh, not that one. I put them on at this stage of the eggs. Sprinkle it on the egg side, not the other side. The sodium sulfide goes on this side. Okay. Krill goes on this side as well. Krill. Powder. There we go. Get that krill powder on there. And you'll you'll notice when you do your eggs, they will uh, they will leach out. All the juices will come out of the eggs. Your bag. I put these in bags. And your bag will, you know, have a lot of liquid in it where the eggs, this the cure, as you've probably seen in other videos, you know, will bring out the juices in the eggs. And then when you, after you flip them for a couple of days, uh, then those juices will actually be reabsorbed back into the egg. And that's why I do that at this stage, because you want that, that krill powder and you want that sodium sulfide to be reabsorbed along with the cure back into the egg. That way it's just not on the egg, it's in the egg or eggs, plural. So then, we're gonna flip them over. And do the other side, exactly the same way. And you can already see, these eggs are juicing out now. They are juicing out already, so we don't want to waste any more time. Let's get some of this. Oh, I should have left the top off. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Let's get this on this side as well. Why not? If you notice my eggs, my eggs are really super bright red. And also, cured uh, wet. I always do mine wet. I do not dry these out. Okay, so now I don't even want to mix these up right now. So they're, it's good enough the way it is. Take a bag. And I'm, I think I'm going to need <coughs> three bags for these eggs because there's so many of them. And let's just start putting them into bags. Powder. <coughs> Excuse me. Four. Let's go with one, two, three. One of them's going to have a smaller. Okay, there's one. Set that aside. Get up some of this, collect some of this cure here that is in the pan. Okay. I want that moisture too that's been coming out of there already. Oh, look at that, my bag's all messed up. Okay. Collect this up. bag. Three. I don't think I got that on my arm. Gotta wipe that up if we can. Get her in the bag. 
I cleaned up the pan, and now we have our eggs uh, in a bag. We're gonna close them up. I am going to, uh, well, I don't need these. I don't need these gloves on anymore. Let's take these off. Put these away. Okay. Let's, ooh, there's a little bit of, a little bit right there. Okay, anyway, uh, we're gonna close, it, close these up, and I'm gonna leave air in the bag for now. So we have room to toss and turn. Okay, so I'm not gonna put, take the air out of the bag right now. I just said. But we're gonna close them up. And toss them. Now I'm gonna toss them now. You can see, look at that, look at those juices coming out of there already. They're really juicing up well already. And like I said, after they reabsorb that, that liquid, I'm just gonna um, slice them up, put them in these containers, Top them off with borax um, right here. So yeah, I'll, I will um, slice them up, put them in these containers, top them off with borax, 20 mule team borax. Now you could buy uh, the borax from, um, you know, from Procure. The only difference between that and this stuff here is that it's a finer granule, it's a more of a powder. I don't think that makes any difference. It doesn't make any difference to me. And so I'd rather buy this stuff here. Sorry, Procure. Uh, because it's cheap, I get it at Walmart, and it works just as good. So, let's toss these around. You can see they're really starting to juice out already. Look at that juice in there. Isn't that crazy how fast that works? Okay, at this point, what I do is I open up the bag and I will take all the air out of it. All the air out. Close it back up. way when I put them in the fridge I can lay them in there just like this that way when they go in the fridge I can lay them in there just like that just like this what we have here after about a half a day half a day probably like yeah like eight hours is look at all that moisture in there there is a lot of moisture that is coming out of these eggs. You can see it there. You can see it here. They're just leaching out a lot of moisture. So what I do is, you know, what I had them like to begin with was closed up real tight. So all that, all that, um, all that cure stays in every egg like this. And then to flip them, you open it up, let more air in so they can roll around in the bag. That's self-evident. Roll them around in the bag. Now I only do this like twice, over two days. It doesn't take, you don't have to do it a lot. Because once the, the cure, once the cure um, is dissolved in the water, it is dissolved. And as long as the eggs are sitting in the the moisture, that's all you need. So again, close them up, get all the air out. They're just, look at that, just drowning in their own moisture. Let the air out of this one again. Come on. I could have did a better job than that. I want all that stuff that's on the bag down inside the eggs. Okay, there we go. That way when it's sitting in the fridge, <clears throat> you know, 
that it's, you can tell, when it's in the fridge, all the eggs are swimming. And, uh, Delay flat. There we go. So by tomorrow, oops, come on. By tomorrow, these eggs will be swollen, and all of that moisture will be back in the eggs. Welcome back. The eggs have been um, in the fridge for about a day and a half. Let's take a look at them and see how well they have absorbed the reabsorbed the moisture. My wife doesn't like it when I use her fridge. This is her downstairs fridge. And that is my bait freezer right there. And then that's my game and fish freezer but anyhow let's take a look at these things and see how way the, how well they've done i think they look fantastic actually oh yeah look at that so um these things have plumped up like you wouldn't believe look at that oh. No moisture left in the bag. It's all been reabsorbed. Okay, let's get these let's get these things cut up. So when I put these, when I when I hook these up, when I put these on, what I do is I roll these over, roll them over like this, and then I slip the egg loop around this way. So when it when it closes up, when the egg loop closes it up, it folds the eggs over, and you have a nice round ball with all the eggs exposed on the outside and the skin on the inside. And each one of these containers are going to hold just enough to fish one day. There. So I just need to top them off, cover them up. Let's take these gloves off. At least that one. Shake up the borax.
stack of eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this will last me maybe three trips. And I'll have to catch some more because it doesn't last that long when you, when you fish with a lot of eggs. Another thing you'll notice is I don't wear fishing, I don't wear these gloves when I'm fishing. I just don't like to wear them when I'm fishing. My hands do turn, and my fingernails and my cuticles do turn red and pink, um, but uh, that's just the nature of the beast. I also do not put the hook through the eggs. I open up the egg loop, and I just put the eggs through the egg loop and then pull it gently tight. Um, it'll stay on your hook for a little while. And I also, once the, once the eggs come off the skein and you have a chunk of skein hanging on your hook, I don't take that skein off and put a fresh piece of eggs on there. I just keep putting the eggs on the skein that's already there. Because those skeins, as you can see, all that, that stuff that I put in there, the krill and the sodium sulfite, goes into the skein as well. So it's constantly gonna be, um, it's constantly gonna be fishing, whether or not you have eggs on there or not. Because that skein is gonna be hanging off the end, it's gonna be looking like some kind of attractant, almost like a, a piece of yarn, you know, um, corky and a yarn. But, uh, oh, and also I wanted to mention the sodium sulfide. A lot of people, oh, no, no, sulfites. Um, I've been using this for years, and what people may not know is that sodium sulfite is just a food preservative. preservative. And uh, sodium sulfite is in, I can't say almost all, but it's in a lot of foods, if not most of the foods that we eat and consume as humans. If you have a problem with sodium sulfite because of something you read, then by all means, don't use it. But like I said, this is what I do. So until next time, tight lines.